There are a lot of times where buyers may purchase an older home, and some older homes have some specific issues. So on this show, we're going to talk about asbestos. What is it, and why is it dangerous? It's The Real Estate Show. Welcome to The Real Estate Show. My name is Rick Naples, the owner broker of Zone Realty LLC. You zone your home. Asbestos or asbestos, or whichever way you want to pronounce it. What is it? Where is it? Why is it dangerous in your home? You know, many years ago it was a common material that was used in ceiling tiles and floor tiles and even siding, sometimes roof shingles, because it was considered to be a fire-resistant type material. It's also used as insulation around pipes, steam pipes, water pipes, and so on and so forth. And in the older homes, it was a very common material used. But come to find out, asbestos does cause problems. You see, it is a material that's made of many, many crystalline fibers. And what happens is over time, that material starts to deteriorate. And as those fibers start to go into the air and you possibly breathe them in, it can cause all kinds of health issues. So a lot of folks, when they're buying older homes, if there's asbestos that has been used in the homes, they want to get it removed. And that can be a very expensive and dangerous process. There are a lot of professionals that are out there that are trained in how to remove and dispose of this material. And it's definitely something you want to look into. But maybe the expense is prohibitive, especially if it's an older home where there's a lot of asbestos in use. There are ways to make it safe without necessarily having to remove it. Now I put together this little presentation that talks about asbestos some of the reasons why it's bad and how it affects the human body. Let's take a look. That presentation has some very interesting information, especially the pictures that show what it looks like. 
So if you live in an older home, you know what I'm talking about. Or if you're looking to buy a home that has asbestos that's been used in it, you know kind of what to look for. So there's a number of different things that you can do in order to protect yourself from the asbestos fibers that are in the home. One of those things that we look at is something that's called encapsulation. And I'm going to show a presentation on that a little bit later. But I wanted to talk more about the asbestos itself. There's a definition on Wikipedia, and that definition says that what it is, is it's a mineral. It's a crystalline fiber that is naturally occurring, that is put together and that is used uh, as an insulating type material. Now, as I said, this material has been used many, many times over the years, and it's actually still used today, but not in residential homes. It's used commercially um, to use as an insulation. As this stuff begins to break down and its fibers start to go into the air, or if you happen to be around something that's insulated with insulation and it breaks, or something happens where uh, the fibers get released into the atmosphere, and you breathe that stuff in, those fibers are going to adhere into your lungs. Now your body is going to expel a lot of it. You're going to remove a lot of it just through the natural processes of your body. But some of it may stay in your lungs. And as you saw in the presentation, it could be 10, 20, sometimes even 30 years before you start to see a detrimental effect to your health from breathing in the asbestos. So again, if it's something that you want to have removed, you need to talk to a professional and have a professional get involved in removing it. Here on the Real Estate Show, I always try to be as accurate as I possibly can. And I made mention to the Wikipedia definition of asbestos, and I just wanted to read it exactly the way it was to share that with you. Uh, asbestos is a set of six naturally occurring silicate minerals, which all have in common their asbestiform habit. All right, so now let's define what that means. The asbestiform habit, that's long, thin, fibrous crystals with each visible fiber composed of millions of microscopic fibrils that can be released by abrasion or other processes. Fibrils must be the word that they're using to describe this fibrous material. So uh, it's silica, it's naturally occurring uh, material that's used in order to, to uh, use it for the various applications that it was done over in houses. Why is asbestos harmful? It continues on to say that asbestosis 
uh, is a serious chronic non-cancerous respiratory disease caused by inhaling asbestos fibers which aggravate the lung tissues and cause them to scar. Symptoms of asbestosis include shortness of breath and a dry cracking sound in the lungs when inhaling it. So there you go. There's, there's the actual verbiage for the definition on asbestos. presentation on encapsulation we were talking about you know the, the this special material that's used uh, that they wrap the pipes with uh, it's an interesting thing it's kind of like a cloth like material uh, that is wet and it's applied almost like a like a plaster uh, it's able to be molded to many different shapes as far as the pipes are concerned joints and so on and so forth and then as it dries, it forms a, a cast, uh, just like a cast that they put on your arm or your leg if you should break it. And the idea of this cast is it's very, very strong and it will not allow any of the fibers should the material, the asbestos begin to deteriorate uh, to get into the air, it contains it all. And it's also, as I said, very, very strong material and withstands very high heat. So once this is done, if the pipe should be disturbed or bumped into or banged into or whatever, there's very little chance that those asbestos fibers can escape into the air. So very interesting. I wanted to read something from a website uh, talking about this uh, uh, material that's used, this rewettable pipe lagging, as it's called. Uh, it's a canvas-like product that's made of fiberglass woven thread that is embedded in with an organic rewettable coating. The canvas can withstand extreme temperatures of up to 1,000 degrees, which makes it more safe to wrap on things like steam pipes. Once it's installed over asbestos piping, any hazardous fibers are unable to enter the atmosphere and are contained within the canvas. So there you go.
talking here on the real estate show about asbestos and how it was used in homes in insulation or in the use of floor tiles or floor ceilings roofing materials siding materials and especially as a wrap around uh, hot water pipes or steam pipes uh, a lot of us go into older homes as realtors and we see homes where asbestos is very pertinent uh, and we get worried about it because if that's been there for years and it's starting to fall apart, it can release, as I've said, those fibers into the air and it can cause problems. Now, as you saw in one of the presentations, you know, if you walk into a room and there's asbestos uh, in that room, it's not going to kill you. Um, you know, it, a short exposure is not going to be much of a problem. It, but you need to be aware of that if it's in bad shape, you don't want to inhale those fibrous uh, releases that come off of the asbestos because they can cause problems. Now, let's talk about if you're a seller and you're going to sell an older home and you have asbestos issues in the house. Well, if over the years you have addressed those issues, use the encapsulation technique as shown in a previous presentation, or other techniques that are used in order to seal it and keep it so that it cannot release the fibers into the air, you should be okay. But again, you want to talk to a professional and get a professional opinion on what to do about that asbestos that may be in the home. Now, a lot of folks will choose if they have, for instance, the asbestos floor tiles, to just basically floor with new material over them, thus sealing them in or encapsulating them. A little bit different when it comes to those sealing tiles and taking those down. That's a little bit more involved. As far as asbestos siding on some of the older homes, especially here in Connecticut, a lot of times the way that that's handled is it's just sealed in. In other words, they'll put an insulating board over it, put new siding on or new clapboard or whatever it might be to sandwich in or seal in that asbestos siding so that it's no longer exposed to the air. Same thing with roofing, but again you have to be careful with roofing because we have limitations as far as what you can do as far as a roof is concerned. But again, if you do get involved in having to remove any of this stuff, it's best to talk to the professionals because it is very dangerous. It's not a do-it-yourself type job. Let's take a quick look at this presentation. I'll be back with a section of the show I call the Real Estate Mailbag. This is the portion of the real estate show I call the real estate mailbag. It's my opportunity to answer questions that are sent here to the real estate show or basically asked to me when I'm out about the street. And the general question that we're addressing here on this show is, can you sell your house if you have asbestos issues in it? Well, the answer is yes, you can. But you are required to disclose those issues to potential buyers, either on the property disclosure form or in some other way so that the buyers do know there is asbestos in the house. And if there is asbestos, what you've done about it, whether you've encapsulated it, 
removed it, or so on and so forth. But you do have to disclose it. If it's the old style asbestos and nothing has been done over the years to it, and it's starting to age and it may look like it's starting to have issues, you have to realize, sellers, that a buyer is going to take that into account when they go to make an offer on the house. And it may be a little bit lower of an offer than what you're expecting because they're factoring in the cost to either remove that or make it safe. My name is Rick Naples. This has been The Real Estate Show. I thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.